Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. There's been a lot of speculation that another undersea volcano may be close to eruption after a you know a series, a large series of earthquakes that have happened um, in the Andaman Sea off the coast of India. Um, just in the last month, there's been over 20 earthquakes of a magnitude 4.5 or greater. And there's been a renowned marine ecologist uh, from Thailand. He's telling the people to remain vigilant over the possibility of an undersea volcano in the Andaman Sea. He did stress there is no definitive sign of an impending tsunami at this stage. Well, he's uh, a marine ecologist. He's not a, a geologist. And then there's been eruptions, undersea eruptions, and tsunamis, and earthquakes with no warning whatsoever that caught people off guard. So for him to say that there's no reason to worry about a pending tsunami in the future isn't really based on scientific evidence. He explained that tsunamis are typically caused by undersea earthquakes or volcanic explosions. Think of the Hunga Tonga uh, volcanic eruption. In 2023, scientists from the National Institute of Oceanography, NIO in India, identified an active submarine volcano named Crater Seamount. I, I couldn't find the exact location, so I just went through this area where the earthquakes have been happening, and yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six different sea mounds. So at this point, any of them could be a candidate for an undersea eruption. In 2021, a new gas flare, as they call it, was observed at 380 meters, over 1,000 feet depth, reaching 150 meters high. So that would be about 490 feet, suggesting ongoing volcanic activity. Uh, the sea mound has the potential to erupt and could trigger um, a tsunami. The National Institute of Oceanography, um, they're going to deploy more monitors to uh, detect the seismic activity and better understand what's going on. These sea mounds were formed by the subduction of the Indian Plate beneath the Burma Plate. Uh, the island, Barren Island, about 135 kilometers northeast of Port Blair, formed by the subduction of the Indian Plate beneath the Burma Plate. The island is approximately three kilometers in di um, diameter, and it is a emerged summit of a, of a volcano rising from the depth of about 2,250 meters from the ocean floor or about 7,000 plus feet. Now this is the area here. Back in 2006, there was a volcanic eruption here on uh, Barren Island. It's an uninhabited island. There was also eruptions in 1991, 1994, 1995, 2005, 2017, and I believe the most recent eruption was in 2023. It produced ash up to 15,000 feet. Yeah, and um, that was explosive. There was lava flows that did reach the ocean. And the ash definitely did, you know, damaged a lot of the, the plant life there. You can see, yeah, that's probably the location where the 2023 eruption went into the ocean. A lot of volcanologists, scientists, feel that the uh, recent swarm of earthquakes, especially those above uh, a magnitude of 4, is an indication that magma is rising in this area. Yeah, so, yeah, um, there's so little research. You know, when you got a marine biologist um, telling people not to worry about a tsunami, He's not a volcanologist. He's not a geologist. He studies um, plant and animal life. But when you got so many different sea mounds, um, yeah, 
when will it erupt? Any volcano can erupt with no warning whatsoever. And currently, they're only recording the larger earthquakes. Yeah, 20 within the last month in this location. Yep, another sign of the times. So what are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please thumbs up the videos. Yeah, put a comment. What do you think? This would be the second one. They got the one off the coast of Oregon under sea volcano that they think will probably erupt sometime this year. What do you think about that? Please stay safe. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.